Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. And I'm Nina, your host, and um, we have Jason with me. And um, apparently, he does a lot of different things. I'm not quite sure because I don't pre interview, so I don't know what he does. But one thing I do know he does is, is real estate. Now, we all know. Hello, Jason. Hello. How, I love your glasses. Thank you. Look at those groovy glasses. My fiance picked them out for me. Oh, you, she, she, well, dresses, hang on a she dresses. Uh, hang I cannot dress We myself. just had a photograph taken, and I was carrying you over the threshold. Yes. And now you tell me you've got a fiance. I'm, we I'm have sorry. a bit of a problem. I've got, well, I've don't got to be play sorry. Different, you got I've two got to women play now. Angles here. Yeah, you, you I, definitely I can, play I can the barely angle. handle one woman. So uh, oh, I'm out. I'm going to you anyway, Jason. Jason's in real estate now. Obviously, being in real estate right now is amazing. In some ways, yes. Oh, it's it's very competitive, a very competitive yeah. market right now. Um, I've been in real estate since um, I got to go back because I'm going to date myself, but I'm going to go back to the eighties, and and then it was very yeah I was a child, and then it was very very um, much easier. Now it's a, such a competition. Yeah. There is so many of you out there. And yeah, and supply is, is not the greatest right now, so it's a definite seller's market. It's a seller's market. Definitely a seller's market. Do you know, my house isn't even up for sale, and it will not be up for sale, and I must have had in the last month at least 100 or 200 calls. I understand your house is for sale. I, mean, I understand my house is not for sale. <laughs> and then, then, they come, then they put these things up of how much it's worth, yeah. And of course, they're trying to buy it as cheap as possible and sell it as high as possible. Of course. So tell me, what's happening? Um, well, I mean, real estate right now is, uh, in, in the real estate world, the uh, supply and demand, there's the, the supply is not meeting the demand, which is causing prices is to go up. It's just uh, uh, basic high school economics at that point. Um, you know, if there's not enough of something, and then it's gonna, the price is gonna go up. So sounds like gasoline. Sounds like gas at the moment. They've they've kind yeah. of locked it all up. I feel like with gasoline though, there's always some excuse. You know. Well, they lock it away. Yeah. You know, they've they've got plenty. Of, they've got plenty of oil. Believe me, they've got loads of oil. Oh, yeah. They've got loads yeah. of stuff. They just lock it up and then put the price up. You know, it'll start coming down a little now because schools are going back to school now, so yeah. people aren't traveling as much now. So now they can probably drop the price a little bit now. Probably. I hope so. Probably. Yeah. I hope so, too. too now, what's going to happen in, in this, um, uh, we've been having this government thing of um, $300 a week, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that they've been getting from the government. Yes. So people have stopped going to work, and then they also had this thing that you didn't have to pay your rent. Well, it's, so, it's not really you don't have to pay your rent. Um, there are some circumstances. Well, that's for the government. For, Washington, whatever you want to call this place, wherever we are, um, um, you didn't. They said you didn't have to if you didn't want to. Uh, well, it's a little more, a little more in depth than that. Okay. So, what's the in depth? It, it's uh, if you're having issues uh, due to COVID-related uh, stuff, then there's well, a, the whole world is. an eviction moratorium. A lot of people have lost their jobs, essential workers and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, still employed, still getting a paycheck because yeah. you need it, but a, a lot of people lost their jobs. But then also the unemployment, um, people are not going back to work because uh, yeah. they've been paid this I, money 300 a week. Yeah, that's, so I keep saying that. So if you get 1200 a, a month and then you don't pay your, your, your rent, Yeah. so what happens to the poor person <laughs> for a while, like myself, that owns it and has to pay the mortgage? What happens? Um, so if some, like if a tenant doesn't pay their, their right, rent? Yes. Um, and we still have to pay the mortgage. Well, we actually have a tenant. Luckily, we have a great tenant who's always on time. Um, okay. So we've never had to come across that. And, and okay. um, you know, I've talked to some on of the more whole, seasoned on a realtors. Whole, that that's know. what the big word going around. Um, it, and it's scaring a lot of people. It's a scaring a lot of people. I'm going to tell you why. What's going to happen? I, 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 this is just hypothetical. That um, because they haven't paid the rent, they have to pay the mortgage. How much longer can they pay the mortgage without the rent? Yes. So how many foreclosures are we going to get? That's where I'm going to. You know, the, the so have an abundance of now houses. it's not like 2008 where everyone got a loan. You just go and sign your name, they'll give you a loan. So now the, the prerequisites are a little... That wasn't so. <laughs> I've heard of a lot of people just falling under, um, you know, with the whole mortgage thing in like 2008. Of course, I wasn't in real estate then. I was still doing surgery at that time, but... Um, well, there's a lot of modifications and lots of... Yeah. What, what, what's the surgery thing? Oh, I just dabbed it. I was just an amateur surgery person. Just a hobby of mine. 
I don't know. How could you be hit? I'm this totally is one of his joking. jokes. I'm totally I think, joking. Because I was told by my producer that you're a bit of a comedian. I wouldn't consider myself. I say but, dumb things. My, my fiance would disagree. Like, he, he's not funny. She's a smart one. Okay. See, I hope she's watching right now. Are you watching? You that, What's Christy? her name? You are the smart Christy, one. Christy, you are the smart uh -huh. one. I mean, um, she has to put, put that up, up on this. a great big blackboard so when he walks in the house this afternoon, when he gets back home, are you living together? Yes, we have a we have a trailer by the end. Well, not another one. Oh yeah, no. It's a bit, oh yeah. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. We don't have a trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna move into the trailers. <laughs> this sounds Everyone exciting. Everyone the trailers. We're all going to the end. We all go. <laughs> we're all going to the end. <laughs> But she, yeah, she's 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 great, and, um, and what does she do? Is she in real estate? She no, she actually does financial consulting. She works with big companies. She has like top secret government clearances. Oh wow! You know, um, you're smart to marry a woman like that. So she's 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 genius. She's smart. She is. She's yes. very very book smart. And me, I'm just a, you know, she's the one that kind of sets everything like this. Is what we need to do. This is how to be an adult, Jason. And I'm like, uh, okay, like, Christy. I don't want to go this there. This is how we go have fun. I don't want to go let's, there. Let's kind of let your guard down, and you know, let's let's have some fun. But so you geez. get her to relax and put her guard down, and I try. she puts, and she tries to get you to be a little bit more business. Yes, and she hits me sometimes if I don't uh, obey her rules. Oh, she, she's, she's is this a, very is strong. that kind of abuse? No, I mean, we have a safe word. And Stuff, what, what, so. say, what, what's this? I, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm We're not going down that path. It's for a different show. Yeah, well, no. That's a it joke. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for a sideline? For, I'm sorry? For a sideline. What do you do for occupation or something else you like to do apart from um, trying to sell We do a lot of stuff uh, with our dog. Like, uh, our dog is like our son. What's it? Um, I talked about him the last time I was here. His name is Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor? Yes. Do you know I, Corey Taylor? I don't. I know the musician. I've never met him. There's I know a young him lady in here. town called Corey. I think it's Corey Taylor. Hi, Corey. How are you? There is a. Uh, she has a talk show. So. Uh, oh, there's a there's also a, a singer for a heavy metal band that's here. That's who oh, the dog really? is named after. Oh, named yes. after the after the band. Yeah. And what instrument does the dog play? Oh, geez, he plays. Plays the back. He's he's oh, a he's a backup. He's a classical musician. No, I'm kidding. He's a he's Juilliard a grad as a puppy. Um, this show is going nowhere. I hope no, you're all we're like really it. Going we're nowhere. just we're going nowhere. We're going down all these different holes. We ended up at St. Rose Park, right? <laughs> so we're getting he a trailer gets, by the end. The dog is going to play some music. <laughs> yes. So what's your favorite music? Um, Since we got into the music, it, it, it depends on the kind of mood I'm in. I, I, I'm a big music fan, so I think yes. uh, music I, I use it as kind of a way to. To change, escape? Change, yeah, escape or change how you feel. If I'm having a bad day, if I put on some anger. Oh, you music, could never have. Can you imagine or, Jason having a bad day? Oh, I have lots of bad days. I don't Everybody think has so. bad days. I don't. Um, if I'm feeling, you know, um, a little mushy, I'll put on some John Mayer, some Ed Sheeran, or you know, in just about everything in between. Um, even a little bit of country every now and then. So, do so. you work at home and does your wife work at home? Uh, she works I mean, at home. Your fiance, uh, me, she's um, usually traveling, but because of uh, COVID, a lot of people aren't going back to the office right now. No. So she's been working a lot from home, and I will go into the office um, and do most of my when work needed. from home, too. Yeah. How many houses do you roughly sell a month? Um, actually, I just got into real estate. So um, not even a year ago, I was still doing surgery. So. Um, I, th I thought I, you said, been... I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> now, surgery, I thought you said was kind of a part-time thing. And I thought, how can no, you have no. surgery as a part-time <laughs> thing? Hmm. So, when, so I was, when I was 19, I joined the Army. And I was a combat medic in the Army. Oh, okay. Uh, Fine. The U.S. Army. Okay. Not like the Afghan Army. You weren't in the Afghan Army? No, was not in the Afghan Army. Uh, okay. Um, so, we, uh, so, I started doing that. I got into the medical field. Um, and... Did you pass all your there. exams and everything? Did you get through all that? Barely. I'm like way below average in surgery, but yeah, I'm not good enough. No. So I, if I, I wanted something done, I, I would not. I, 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 no one would recommend you. Would they? I, I, I would recommend. You, you would recommend. Yes, I. I so that's one thing I actually did what, take pride in. Was, and what was, was your forte in that? Um, do you really want to know? No, I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> of course, I want to well, know. Well, I'm going to answer you for fun. Then. <laughs> I did mostly robotic gynecology. Oh, really? Yes. Robotic? Yeah, so we would use a robot, um, a surgical, do, 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 yeah, do, do, kind do, 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 of, like a you know, video game yeah. type thing, and yeah. it's a robot hooked up, and we would do hysterectomies and um, you know, everything. This is fascinating. So, 
yeah, so, kind of worked on that. I want to ask, did you enjoy it? I mean, did you, the did. training must have been a little different. It, it was, um, but it, it was rewarding in some ways and in other ways, you know, it's like, you know, surgery and it's... Well, surgery in any part of the body is, is but tough. But it's almost kind of an assembly line type thing. It's oh, really? not like, oh, this patient's next. It's like the appendix is next, then the hysterectomy. You know, of course, we take all the proper precautions and make sure it's a well, good patient. So. And we have imaging and all that. I don't want to make it sound like that. We're just going to take somebody. Let's... Oh, come on. Hysterectomy. Come on this way. Who's no, got a no, bunion no. out that, here? That's Let's take the bunion off. <laughs> but, um, we but should like, not be joking about this because this is a very serious <laughs> matter with women. It is. But, um, but we are. But yeah, I mean, it was very rewarding because you're helping people. Yes, um, And we did a lot of, I did a lot of breast cancer stuff. I worked with a great oh, really? uh, breast that, cancer that must surgeon be tough. That must be in high. Virginia. Um, yeah, but you know, it's, it's the rewarding part is when you see them two years later. And, and they're, they're healed and, they're and doing it's totally gone fine. and everything's fine. Yeah. Did you find when you, when a woman comes in with breast cancer, because this is so important to a woman, you know, of her body, um, did you find you had to kind of talk to them and sort of, you know, try to probably calm them down or get them to understand it's, it's, it, it's, it's okay and we're going to cure it? You, you want to give hope, yeah. but you also don't want to give false hope. Um, and the most of the time, when the, when the conversations like that came around, the, the surgeon would uh, would go and talk go to the, the patient, patient and, and the handle explain that part. Bit. We yeah. weren't really trained to go talk like to someone and say, "Hey, look, you have cancer." You know, that's more. Let of me explain what it is and what's, what's going to happen to you yeah. and how how you go through it and everything yeah. else. But at the same time, you're there and you're watching this woman and you're helping this woman. Mm -hmm. You know, so that must be very gratifying. And I've helped deliver babies. I. Have you delivered babies? C sections, we would do those. So, and it's kind of uh, kind of amazing when you stop and think that when a child is brought into this world, it's like I am the first person to have ever held this child. Oh you wow! Know? How does that feel? Uh, well, I, I never thought of that. You just think about it, like uh, just, just don't just yeah, don't, you don't drop to... the baby. Just don't <laughs> drop the baby. Hand it to the nurse. <laughs> but that never happened. But uh. You really are a comedian. <laughs> don't drop the baby. No, but that is like don't one thing. Drop the, like, really don't drop the baby. But it, it and things like that, it, it, it's kind of amazing. Those are the times you're you're really grateful for what you do, and yeah. it's, you get that little rewarding feeling inside. Oh, so it must be amazing when you see this baby and you and you take the baby for the first time. That must be just something. It, it is. It, it, it really is. So I mean, you're going to have children of your own. My fiance and I are talking about it. So there's there's That's been, a good there's idea. been some chatter. That's a, that's a good idea. Talk yeah. About I, I, um, so how can anybody reach you? Um, do you still do surgeries or anything like that? Uh, I'm still licensed, but still I, I licensed. don't do it. Don't um, do. So how can people reach you for your real estate um, sell their home? For real estate, if you want to sell your home or a five-wheel trailer. Um, <laughs> Back to the trailer. I'm with okay. uh, Real Broker Realty. Uh, that's here in Las Vegas. Um, you can reach me on my email is Jason Vegas Realtor. That's so creative, right? Very Jason clear. Vegas Jason Realtor. Jason Vegas Realtor. At gmail.com. Um, or should I give my phone number? That's up to you, not me. I Two, give my number out all the time. 202 403 7972. I still have my Washington, D.C. area. I was going to say, you're back in Washington. Yes, I am. Or if you lose my number, there's a lot of stalls, uh, restroom stalls around the city that probably have my phone number written. Oh, you did, you, you, are you one of those people that kind of cut it in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I carved you know, it in carved there. It. Yeah, one of the, yeah. Great business. I get some weird calls, though. So, yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, not all. <laughs> Um, this has been a fascinating interview. We've gone from one side to the other side. <laughs> and actually, we have, we've been all over the world. All over kind the of place. Been. In fact, all my interviews have been rather different. I have really traveled all over the world with my interviews this particular yeah. week. It's been fun, though, and I absolutely thoroughly enjoy it. I've still got some more interviews to go. Yeah. But um, I think you're fascinating. You're fabulous. Thank you. And um, he is engaged. So, ladies, you're out of it. Sorry. Thank you for watching Vegas Live with me on um, I'm Neil, I'm your host, and we're going to have the next guest. But don't forget to go to YouTube, um, subscribe. And I want to thank everybody out there um, for being a member and also subscribing and follows and likes and all that. Because if it wasn't for you out there, nothing would happen. Thank you. We'll be right back.